They enter the tournament next week with some momentum. For Jimmy, our entire crew, I'm Kevin. Let's go out to Texas and Kansas in Austin. Welcome in, everybody, for this battle in the Big 12 from the Moody Center in Austin, Texas. John Shopey, Dick Vitale, and Chris Button. Delighted you could join us. Oh! And that's the type of start it's been for the Longhorns. Tell you one thing, this place is fired up. I love this environment. This group. Moody, man, it's unbelievable. Let's play on the baseline. Senior day, they're all fired up on senior day. So Carr knocks down the shot, the foul on Yesifu. Marcus Carr, their leading scorer, averages just a shade under 17 a game. It's his sixth year. Talk about a veteran player. I mean, he's played in Pittsburgh. He's played in Minnesota. He's here. He's the traveling man. Almost travels as much as you, boo. <laughs> Watching ESPN Sonic Blockbuster. Welcome to the Moody Center here in Austin, Texas. McCullough goes baseline, puts it up, wouldn't fall, loose ball. Car pushing. Hunter a three. And Harris puts it in. No call. Terry Boyd, the first, a terrific point goal, one of the best in the nation. All right, our starting lineups brought to you by Degree, Hunter, Carr, Allen, DeSue, and Mitchell. As the feed goes down to Bishop, kicks back out, Allen to mid range. That's the shot that he normally knocks down. Tell you one thing, better start for Texas than they had against TCU. I mean, they were down 16 against that. Got beat, came back, made a real strong run, but they lost that game. And that game, TCU had 22 turnovers, and their star player, Miles, was 0 for 8, and yet they still won that game. Yeah, if Texas had managed to win that game, this would be a battle for the regular season crown right here. And let me tell you, winning the championship of this conference is special. Bill Self, I interviewed him before the game, there he is right now, he's talking about a winner. Bill Self has won 17. 17. My wife went nuts when I was in the hotel room with her. I said, look at this. She, she doesn't follow basketball close. She said, he really won 17 championships in 20 years? I mean, that's unheard of. That that deserves a beautiful, unbelievable statue in front of Alan Fieldhouse before he's done coaching. Oh, that's coming. That's coming is ready. Shot wouldn't go. Texas back the other way. Kemp's Rice on the play. He's the best six man of basketball. He can score the basketball big time. Texas gets a lot of production from the bench. Carr. Wilson able to save it and gets it to his buddy Kevin McCullough. They grew up playing AAU basketball together. McCullough gives him a solid defensive player. He was terrific. Play, play defense down there at Texas What's Tech. He? Transfer. Juan Harris knocks down the three, and Kansas now within two. Size advantage, kick opposite to Hunter, and now Rice. Harris has really been scoring the last couple of games, 16.5 in the game. Yasifu had a shot blocked. Oh, look at that save by McCuller. Big game for Texas because number one, if they win this game, they're clearly the number two team in the Big 12. And that's quite an achievement. As tough as this conference. I've said it once, I've said it again. 20 years I haven't seen a conference is this tough from top to bottom. Texas started four of six. They missed their last five shots. Rice. And Harris tips it to McCuller. One thing about a Kansas team, you better come to play. Because they're always going to play with passion, intensity, and pride. You might beat them, but you're not going to beat them because they weren't ready to play. 9-7 here in the early going. Time now to take a look at our Sonic blockbuster. And the last time 
these teams met February 6th at Allen Fieldhouse. Kansas came away with the win, even though they shot just 2 of 10 from the floor. But Grady Dick had 21 points. Marcus Carr with 29 in the loss. And Texas held Jalen Wilson to just two points. Kansas still won the game. Showed you how good they are. Grady Dick had a great game. He's one of the premier type of games in the nation. Uh-oh, got a breakaway. Hello. That's what got Boo. Oh, champion and Soka. Come on, Boo, get in there. You hit those kind of legs. I know you get the punch, man. Those arms. You're pumping that way, baby. Jabari Rice with the throwdown. Texas by four. They just look better. They're lively. They're more active, aggressive than they did against TCU. I watched that game early. Jimmy Dixon had his kid pump the play that day. Wilson inside, and he will go to the line. Texas here in the early going, leading it by four. ESPN six. Way. They missed out an opportunity to take home the Big 12 championship in the regular season, but there's still so much to play for. Most teams don't get the opportunity to redeem themselves. Their seasons are over. He also said, like, those guys you used to watch growing up here in Austin, TJ Ford, Kevin Durant, they watch, they text me. Take some pride. Give them something to cheer for today. It's TJ, former National Player of the Year, led the Hornets to the Final Four in 2003. One of their favorite players, Edward Barnes, who suffered that loss prior to this game to uh, Auburn. And, you know, Rick's playing without a superstar player, Ziegler. I wish the young guy really a great recovery from his ACL that he's going to have to go through. Tough player. Came in, wasn't a McDonald's All-American. He just proved he could play at the elite level. You saw that note on the Texas experience. Ken Palm has... Texas ranked as the seventh most experienced team in the land. Six guys oh. are seniors, super seniors. Oh, baby. There's one of them. Jabari Rice puts it home and one. And the foul will be on Ernest Duda Jr. Duda Jr. right there with the foul. But what a nice move down the lane. Look at a good, great cut without the ball, hanging in the air. Has really an excellent play by Rice. Excellent play. You don't see too much of it anymore. Moving it without the basketball. Everybody wants to bounce, 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 and everybody stands and watches and becomes the Kodak man taking pictures. You know, you like to take pictures. One, once in a while. <laughs> Before the game, I had a blast with all the fans here. I had my little Texas Cowboy hat on. Hey, we had a great time at dinner last night. The red ash, it was terrific. I'm certainly thank Mr. Deutsch for making that happen for us. Yeah, appreciate Peter George helping us out with that. Texas by five. Little lob. And Uday got shoved. The foul will be on Dylan DeSue. You know, I did my top players. Big all American team I just picked up. It's supposed to be really. Uh, Wilson's on that team. He's had a, just a phenomenal year. But it looks like Texas really plays him so tough. You mentioned earlier, John, he had a tough time against them in the opening game. That's my little wow. How's that team super six? I like to coach those guys. I can screw them up. They're so talented. Incredible team. Wilson goes hard and rejected. Said, get it out of here. Wilson looks at me and I said, don't you know who I am? I just made the give these All-Americans to me. You're blocking my shot. Player of the year has Zach Eady. John wants to know. Had the same player he picked and I have great respect for John. Texas with ice cold from three. That's out of bounds. It'll stay with Texas. There he is. Look at the drive. Look at the defense rotating over. Tremendous block. Wilson, man. Christian Bishop sending it out. So the rejection there. Texas, by the way, 0 for 8 from the three-point line, but still leading it by 5. And remember, the All-American, Mr. Wilson's like 0 for 18 in his last 18. Well, you don't have to beat up on him. <laughs> Here's Allen now on McCuller working. Feed inside. Shot was blocked. And the three-point trap ends as the freshman Ontario Morris knocks it down.
tell you what, they get the big three because of the block shot. That created that upper rule pick. A lot of people he played here. I didn't realize we were doing TMZ here today. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, it's going to be Jack of all trades. All right. It's the end of the year, man. you got to be versatile, multi-talented. Everybody get a job at TMZ. People Magazine, Stick by Tal on the call. A little double, double up. MJ Rice was the target for that lob, and now... It's Wilson. Great defense so far by Texas. Here's McCullough inside, and he's fouled. The Longhorns have played big time physical defense so far. They really have. And I spoke to Bill Self, you know, on the phone earlier this week, and he said to me, Dick, I'm really concerned. That's the biggest concern. He said their defensive ability to take us out of a flow and take away our efficiency offensively. And you're right, Boog. We just seen that right here today so far. Kansas has won seven in a row. It's pretty remarkable to think a Kansas team defending national champs, Bill Self, his group lost 74% of their scoring. And here they are right now, projected to be a one seed, maybe even the one overall seed. Two NBA players they lost in terms of Brand, in terms of Apache. And you think about that, and he's really just reloaded. What a job he has done here, year after year after year. Great fan base there in Kansas. Very passionate people. Harris collects the steal. I know you feel like I'd be one of my favorite places. I don't know if Chris feels that way. Is to go there to Allen Fieldhouse. It's so special. He had just with no field goals in over four minutes, and that drought comes to an end. Well, they created that opportunity, Kansas. Good cut to the ball, find the open man, McCullough delivers. He gives him that defensive play. Allen, good move. And that rolls off. Let's send it over to Chris Button. When you look at the career that Jalen Wilson has had, particularly this past year, it's amazing of just the, the impact that he's had in the absence of Ochai Abaji. When you look at the numbers last year, Ochai leading the team with 35 minutes a game, same with Jalen Wilson, points-wise, even Jalen a point higher. I talked with Jalen earlier in the season about the decision to come back. Two years he talked about going to the NBA, but he said, I saw what Ochai Abaji did. He stayed. He was under recruited. He stayed four years, became a top-round NBA draft pick. Maybe that can happen to me. And I'll tell you what, you talk to Bill South. He says it's not only the talent for Jalen Wilson. He says he's one of the most competitive guys I have ever coached. Tell you one thing, Chris. Good report on him. He came over to Boog and I before the game. And I, yeah, I was surprised. I know Boog, Boog, I'll tell you, I was really shocked when he said he has two more years. He can come back to Kansas. Seems like he's been there for an eternity. But you know what? He's gone this year. They're, they're, he told us basically, this is it for me. But he can play two more years, college basketball. COVID, I think, gives him an extra year. Brady Dick hasn't been able to get any shots at all. They've been in his face. How many shots has he taken? I don't think he's taken a shot yet. He's has not taken a shot. He has not taken a shot. Unbelievable. See, that tells me I'm really watching the game. See, there people are focusing. And they get a shove underneath. I think that's on Christian Bishop. Brady did coming off his first career game without a field goal. And that was this past Tuesday against Texas Tech. He hasn't taken a shot here today. And averaging about 15 points a game. The prize freshman, one of the better shooters in the country. He's projected to go inside the top 15 of the NBA draft right now. I think he's one of the three most impactful, I think, diaper damage. you got Miller down there in Alabama, Filipowski certainly down there with Duke, and you got certainly Dick. He's right up there with those guys. Wilson lost the handle, wanted to call. Hunter gives off. Oh, best play by Hunter. He finds the open man. Oh, without the basketball, I mean, this Texas team. High school to breast cancer, his brothers Nick and Teddy here for his senior day. By the way, before his mom passed, he promised her, I will graduate with a college degree. 
Well, it's going to happen this May. He's going to get his diploma in physical culture in sports. And what a moment that was when we watched him hug his brothers, Timmy Allen, eventually getting his degree here at Texas to honor his mom. Great job, Chris. Really, that's really a very touching moment for the young guy. He's going to get one down that aisle. The tears flowing down his eyes. Oh, and now Grady Dick back to Harris. Did you see how much they, how quickly they recovered that Dick? Not give him a shot. He hasn't taken a shot yet. Hasn't taken a shot. That shot there. The side of the backboard. Texas defense has been suffocating. I'll tell you the other thing that Texas has done today, they have rebounded a 15-11 rebound advantage. And on the season, they're actually on the negative side rebound. Well, they got really beat up on the last big time by TCU. TCU's Kim Miller. A big game for Jamie Dixon. Chad Wilson buries a two. He didn't get a three. He was going to come over and say, he makes the three. He's a boo. Okay, we knew he was over for 17 coming into this game, shooting threes. Texas by seven. Hunter gets inside and a foul on McCullough. Another reminder coming up next. Duke will take on North Carolina at the Dean Smith Center. And then at 10 Eastern, it's number eight Arizona, number four UCLA, or Saturday Showcase, both games right well, here me, at ESPN. You know, really, when you put it in perspective, you look at North Carolina preseason number one. If you had a question, the last time a preseason number one did not make, did not make the NC tournament. My buddy who does a lot of research with me, Howie Schwab, he gave me info on it. 1975. You know what the team was? North Carolina State. And it wasn't that they didn't have a great year, boo. They had a great year with David Thompson and company. But in those days, you had one. So one champion, champion in the tournament went to the postseason. So they got eliminated in the ACC tournament, and that's in 1975. I don't even count that as not making it because really, no multiple choices. The color off the mark as he targeted KJ Adams with the lob. Bill Self can just look on and shake his head. Fifth turnover. On the Jayhawks are shooting 26% from the floor so far. But Sergio, our coach, really has perspective. He told me sitting in the room tonight, sitting in that green room and relaxing with him, he said, I'm concerned about their defense getting us out of our efficiency offensively, and that's exactly what's happened here. Allen, tough shot. Wilson pulls down the rebound. Such a versatile player. Many parts to his game. Swag. He got that great swag. Oh, he got knocked down. He got knocked down. Everybody missed it. Adams inside. Loose ball. And it'll be Kansas basketball. 16 on the shot clock. The one thing they're doing well when you look at Texas, giving help, rotating. This is a really important game for Coach. Coach Terry. He's in a scenario. Let's not hide it. He's in a scenario where obviously he's got to win with this team and win big and get second place with well, what they want to get done here is not going to get it done it's going to be the postseason what they do in the tournament mid 12 and he certainly in the sec because right now they want to win big in texas i personally boom when i look at it i really think it's unfair in a way you go second in this conference man he's got 10 years head coaching experience he loves Austin. He loves these people. He works like you can't believe. He's really earned the right to be their coach. And to be under that kind of pressure is unbelievable. He's here with Rick Barnes. Nine years. That man of the yep. greatest years ever in basketball. And he came back to work under Chris Beard. Wilson. I want to. Yep. Over 19. Come on, my man. We got to knock one down. Rice, there's that ball fake of his. 
Oh, and they get the foul on Harris as Allen went down to the floor. Allen should have spun to the base left. A little UB Brown move, but you just teach a clinics in the five-story camp. He should drop stop, spun to that base like our producer Tim Belton used to do when he started at Stanford. Did it? Hey, Kim, did I say it the way you wanted me? I know you wrote it down today. Was I pretty good about that? Come on, Mr. Belton. <laughs> Cunningham, that rattles out. Got a lid on the basket, both sides. The teams have combined two of 16 from three, but kind of ugly for deep. Really ugly. I think really a lot. Oh, he gets a shot finally. He gets a shot. He had a good look at it, couldn't knock it down. Last game, like you said, he couldn't score. Hello. Oh, they feel it here, baby. They feel it in Texas. Oh, they love it. Hook them horns. Hook them horns. Tyrese Hunter, the triple. Former Iowa State. Hyper dandy of the year in a big club. Look at Wilson. Grabs a rebound and then kind of hooks it off the glass and puts it in. Shows that tenacity. Fast break points. Texas 12. KU2, that's a six to one ratio. So I used the math I used to wow. teach when I was a sixth grade. I was a sixth grade teacher. I have the lowest common denominators in the work with all that. Hello! Hello! Oh, man. They are rocking and rolling, baby. Look at these fans. The long run. It's going to be all expense paid in terms of when you talk about travel, you talk about hotels, talk about spending money, and we're going to have a package. I got some bonus prizes for them as well when they come to my house and join me watching the games. Just go to v.org slash super16. V.org slash super16 to enter. It's a $100 donation, and all the money goes, which means so much to me, kids battling cancer. So please, people, just go to v.org slash super16. Texas on an 11-4 run over the last five and a half minutes plus. Here's Harris. Wilson up oh, and wow. under. What a play right there. Up and under baseline move. Incredible. Jimmy Allen step back. Wilson the rebound. Kansas the other way. Down by 10. Under three to go. Here in the first half, John Shelby, Dick Vitale, and Chris Button from the Moody Center in Austin. Good hesitation. Harris off the window draws the contact. And as he goes down, and he'll shoot two. Nice little ball fake he utilized really well. See, a little ball fake. Look at that little header. Oh, what a nice play right there. Just tremendous baseline drive. Let me share this because I'm a foul. I would like to talk to Dr. of Recology, Mr. Lenardi. You guys have blue real work, work ethic. I wonder what would be his feelings if Kansas loses this game. Are they out as the number one overall seed? Now, if Dr. Vital is doing it, my BBDI tells me my Vital Ball Dome Index. See that Ball Dome Index? I'm familiar that, with it. Yep. That Ball Dome Index is it. telling me, it's telling me right now, uh -huh. it's spinning up. Sorry, Dr. Joe. I think they deserve the number one overall seed, whether they win this or not, to win the Big 12 and schedule strength. Their competition would be Houston. Houston has a great, great year. Kevin Sampson has been great. They have four quad wins versus Kansas 15. Schedule strength. Take a look. Houston 102. Take a look right there. Ken Palm ranking. Kansas number one. I mean, you got to weigh that. That's got to be important. So I say, if I were doing it, Kansas has earned the right already before this game to be the number one overall seed. That means they picked the first round where they want to play and also the region. And it just so happens one of the regions is Kansas City. All right, so 15 quad one wins. What does it mean? 
home game versus a team of the top 30, neutral against the team of the top 50, and a road game against the team of the top 75. So that's what a quad one win is. Kansas has 15 of them, most of any team in the country. Harris couldn't hit, puts it back up, wouldn't go. Good job right there. Who's breaking that down? People don't know what quad wants to be. You did a good job. Wilson takes it away. Wilson, a three. Oh, yes, a little, little. He's playing to us. He's playing to us. He came over before the game and he said to my guy, Boom. He said, Boom, if I make one, I'm going to point to you guys. He came in 0 for 17. He's such a player, such a play. Good attitude, too. I love his personality. He loved you, buddy. He's a really, really good player, and it's been cool to watch his improvement as his career has gone on. Cunningham, feed inside, right short. They get Pettiford on that foul. Now, the last two minutes, get a little bit, a little bit sloppy when you look at Texas. Take a look right here. They find out, they kick it out, squares the body. Takes it down, he remembered a little boy. <laughs> yeah, he said, it's for you, guy. That's for you. You got me. <laughs> you know, should be conference player of the year, and certainly, you know, he was on your All America team, and he's a guy that's been in the conversation for national player of the year all season. I think Zach Eady's going to win it, but I mean, look, when you're leading the best conference in the country in both scoring and rebounding, that's a pretty good start for oh, the rest He points over. He's really right. That makes me. <laughs> look, look at Boog says. Look at me, I'm silent. I'm silent. I don't see a word. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's a new joke. My wife. That was the that. layout right there. That was the layout. Uh, tell you one he made my first team all American because he's had such a great year. So has Timmy down there, Gonzaga, Mark Miller, now in Alabama, Zach Eady, Sasser. They've all had very great, great years. For Trace Jackson Davis, my Super Six Coach of the Year. You know my Coach of the Year is. He used to work here. He used to work in Texas. Shaka Smart. Oh. What a year he's had. What? Oh, great score right there. That's a nice move right there. They take that lead and go back up by 11. And the fan, what a defensive effort. You all get the 21 punch, baby. At the half is unbelievable. Now look at that defense. Look at that defense. Look at the hustle. Look at the hustle. Morris, what a great defensive effort. Coach Sarkeesian might want to use him in football. Oh, yes, that's big. Simple with a three. That's big. Give you a little momentum, man. Give you a little momentum. Give you a little Uncle Mo. Go to locker room after that three. This is a Texas team, Bill Self knew it coming in, that they can really suffocate you on the defensive end. Absolutely. <laughs> this game is far from over, though. Anybody knows Kansas, the Jaywalks. As we are ready for the second half of our Sonic Blockbuster matchup, and Texas with the basketball. Hunter feeds DeSue with Grady Dick on him. The Vanderbilt transfer, a guy who once led the SEC in rebounding, puts it up and in. Tell you one thing, he was so aggressive. Well, fence me the last couple of games, looking for a shot. Quiet in this game, quiet in this game. Look at a three, three point shooting, three for 12, three for 11 for Texas. Trading Dick, no point. Isn't that two games in a row now? Didn't he, last game he was blanked as well. Last game he had four, but he didn't make a field goal. Yeah, did make a field goal. Unbelievable. Car short, McCuller. Tony got two shots of it in his face, trying to keep him away from getting good looks. Good hands by Carr. Let's send it over to Chris Button. Coming out of halftime, Bill Self told me that was about as bad of the first half as we could possibly play. So we have to be able to handle their pressure better. When we get open shots, they're very few and far between. We have to be able to hit those and get more out of our bench play. Only three points on guys coming off the bench. Yeah, that's one of the things that boosts Texas game in, game out is participation from the bench. Offensive foul. 
with frustration right now. I'll tell you, Brady Dick and Wilson, the two stars, are going to have to elevate their games if they're leaving here with a W. If they're leaving with a W, they got to get those guys. You're going to have your star. Your star is going to perform in the big, big moments. I look at Brady, I think that psychologically right now, he's thinking, he's thinking and thinking rather than just reacting. You know, you start to read the last game, no field goals, this game, no field goals. You start to put that pressure on yourself. Boom. That's the last game. Unbelievable. Two games now, two. Hope for seven, shooting the three. So good at Iowa State. What a win today. TJ Otzelberger does a great job. They went to Baylor and blew Baylor out and fired a wire. One of the top players he had put off the team, Grill. They had lost six of the last seven Iowa State. Shows you the wackiness of how tough this conference is. The lower level teams all won like West Virginia today. You got wins by certainly we talked about Iowa State. Yeah, Iowa State going into Baylor and picking up a win. West Virginia win over Kansas State today. That's a big win for Bob Huggins these kids. Big win. Any win you get in this conference is a big win. It really is. Hunter to DeSue back out. Hunter. Oh, step back. And Harris collects up to KJ Adams. What a defensive effort. Round of the play, good secondary defense. Oh, yes. <laughs> Senior day, man, rising to the occasion. They don't want to be denied. Throw the lob up a dump. There's the conversion. Look at Lawrence. I tell you, there's a fever right here in this arena. Incredible. The lead for Texas is a dozen just getting started here in the second half. John Chomby, Dick Vital, and Chris Button from the Moody Center. Another sellout. 11,313. Rodney Terry's group has enjoyed their new home. Largest lead of the day for Texas. It is 13. These fans really love it. If they keep this up, the city of Austin's going to be really having a lot of fun tonight. Party time. Wilson will try. Can't hit. Mitchell pulls down a rebound. Well, he broke the Schneider he was on. Came in, missed 17 straight. Oh, what a nice move. What a great spin. McCullough does not like the call. Now, fans, a reminder, our NBA Saturday primetime game on ABC and ESPN app. It's a great Eastern Conference matchup. Sixers and the Bucks coverage begins NBA countdown at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. So one thing, former Kansas player, Mr. Embiid, really doing a great job in a hunt for MVP. Certainly, and you think about the honest, unbelievable Milwaukee. What a year, what a team they have. Incredible. Zach Clements will check in as Adams will sit. Playing time's been up and down for Clements, and he's dealt with injury this season. He's a kid for the future, there's no doubt about yep. it. Great size. I like his future. Hunter, he was such a great player last year for Iowa State. Really shocked me when I heard that he was in the transfer court. McCullough gets inside to sue the block, but Doug Sermons has a foul on Texas. It's a 7-0 Texas run here. They don't want to be denied, man. They want that second spot exclusively. Right now, when the day started today, they were tied for second along with Kansas State and with Baylor. Well, Kansas State went down, Baylor went down, and you don't have to go to Harvard or Yale to figure out if they win today, the Texas, they are number two, Mr. Shambi. You're never number two. Are you kidding me? Mitchell goes flying in, but it's offensive interference. 
See, internationally, that would have counted. Internationally, that would have counted, but unfortunately, it doesn't count Do you here. like the rule for the international, or do you like it better this way? Boy, that's a tough question. You know what? Boy, think about it. I like the international rule. I still move it without the ball. And it's at both ends. You can scrape it off as well defensively, too. Nice move there by... Clements to put it in. The deficit is 13 for Kansas. Texas has been in control. Clements could be a very good player eventually. You mark my words. Clements is going to be a very good player in that Kansas uniform. Allen with Brady Dick on him. Lost the handle. Clements goes to help. Loose ball. And then kicked up ahead. McCuller. The Sioux got the block, but Doug Sermon said you got him with the body. It's a foul. Oh, I think there's no doubt about it. One eye, I can see that he hit him with his body. Are you kidding me? He hit him with the body. Take a look right here. Okay. See, I, right there, I would like to count the loops. I really would. For him, for counting. I like offense. I'm with you. I like scoring. I like scoring. Boy, wow, Kansas is really running for a bus score today. I think he sort of sexed it. They won the Big 12 title 17 times in 20 years. That's unheard of. That's statue, statue time, baby. I don't think there's any doubt that we put the statue up himself in Lawrence. Jayhawks have won seven in a row. Have not lost since falling to Iowa State. I'll tell you one thing about Bill. He could care less that they won that championship the other day. He's only cared about one thing about today and that's what the great ones are all about they're about doing it today when you think about the greats in the past the jordans you think of magic you think of bird they were always about i want to get better today than i was yesterday yep well an opportunity to be the first repeat champ since florida in 07. wow wow what a star he is off the bench they let it get away against TCU. TCU certainly played a solid game of five. Nice move, Kevin McCullough, the Texas Tech transfer, puts it on the deck and puts it in. You can use that word transfer almost all day with it's these true. teams. It's so true. I mean, the stability, you don't know next year what's the lineup going to be with teams. You know, you used to call the transfers all Marco Polo, but right. now everybody's Marco Polo. Yeah, everybody. Hey, I like that you call them that. Wow. I've been watching you for a little bit. 13-point game here in Austin. A total of 604 games played. 457 starts when I was joking with Rodney Terry during shoot around today about his players being old he said they think they're old and then I remind them that if you're going to go play in the league next year you're going to be a rookie so you better hope that your body feels better than those guys like LeBron who are actually old unbelievable what LeBron has done this year playing still athletically at his age Timmy Allen and company six Guys who are either seniors, grad students, or super seniors, and five of them honored pregame today on senior day. Well, the King James, LeBron, he's exactly what I talked about earlier. The guy that always wants to be better today than yesterday, and he works at it. It's no accident he's where he's at. He puts in the time, the effort, and he just gets better and better. He's like that great wine that you try to get better with time. Bishop takes it away. Harris takes it right back. Kansas down 14. They can't get an open look for Brady. It's unbelievable how the defense has really jumped in his face. Clements can shoot it. That one off the mark. Bishop. And now Carr. Clements grew up on a farm out in San Antonio. I love farms. I love horses, man. I love horses. I wonder if he was riding a horse there. Injuries, as you said earlier, have really curtailed his play this year. Catch and shoot. Rice, no good. And out of bounds. Let me ask you this. With all the talk about transfers, do you think it makes it harder for the mid-major schools? Because it used to be the advantage some of the smaller schools would have was they have more experienced players. Now all the Power 5 schools have all the talent and seemingly the experience too. Man, you are so sharp. You're so sharp. I agree with you wholeheartedly. I think, first of all, you know, transferring the kids, you have a right to move on. But I think what's happened with the fact that being eligible right away, 
It has caused chaos in college basketball. Total chaos. And you can, people cannot deny that. It has really done chaotic and really helps the big time schools, no doubt about it. Just like you know, we told us about quad ones. Quad ones. Well, the mid major, the little guy, they can't get quad one wins. They don't get opportunities, they don't get the chance. All right, a reminder, UFC 285 tonight from T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Another stacked card, two title fights, and it's highlighted by the long-awaited return of John Jones. The main card starts 10 Eastern on pay-per-view with the prelims at 8 Eastern on ESPN, ESPN Deportes, and ESPN Plus. Hey, Mr. Jones, they tell me, my guys tell me Mr. Jones is the guy that can get it done. Sorry, I look at your guns. You're gonna get a ring with him. I'll take my no money shot. on you. I got no shot. <laughs> the lead is 12 for Texas, and they have been in control most of the way thanks to a spectacular defensive effort. Allen backing down on Wilson. Fade away, draws the contact and a bump on the floor that's where he really excels great job when he played at utah you know college basketball things have changed drastically with the nil which i think is really great that kids now can get some compensation what i don't think is great is there's no rules and regulations in really administering bishop inside contested and he draws the foul. Jeb Hartness going over to talk to Zach Clemens. And Bishop will go to the line. Christian Bishop. He's smiling. They're all smiling in Texas today. They're smiling. Michael Dallas smiling to my right. Del Computer sitting in his courtside seat. Did you, you get a computer? Hey, do you think you can afford that seat? Yes, I, I think you can. Yeah, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's, a, he's a great. <laughs> he, he's a great Texas fan. Really great. Bishop gets it to go. The Creighton transfer, 59 percent from the line in his career this year, 61 percent. Creighton certainly has had a great program. We talk about there's another transfer. How many times have we said that word? Come on. That rolls out. Clements pulls it down, and now Wilson, full head of steam. Oh, Clements should have faced the goal. It's wide open. Wide open. Inside, offensive foul. Jabari Rice takes the contest. So, what a defensive effort. Team effort. It's been a team of coach Terry's got his kids playing as a team and unit. Will Self, I know, would tip the hat to him. I mean, take a look right here. Defense right there, bam. I mean, good defensive rotation. Smile on the face. They weren't smiling when they had that game. Wow. We did a game with Baylor. There's no smiles. Feed down Allen, the double team comes, and Adams retreats to Bishop. Par now. Shot clock is under 10. Adams jumps out on call. Off balance shot. He was determined to shoot that ball. He was determined. That was a four shot. He was determined. No way that ball is going to be fast. McCullough step back. Wouldn't fall. Kansas can't go on a spurt. You haven't seen a spurt out of Kansas yet this afternoon. The Texas just won't let him. You're right, Luke. No question. You got to credit. Texas. Credit I mean, Ronnie Terry. I'll tell you what, though. Sometimes you got the right to coach right here and you don't realize it. McCullough rebounds. Kevin McCullough, one of the best rebounding guards in the country. He averages 7.3 rebounds a game. And one of the best when you talk about defensive players. And you mentioned about rebound, October 7th, one of the best offensive rebounds ever this year in Kansas was against Texas Tech. An incredible game coming to the wire, ball laying on the deck, and somehow McCullough came up with the basketball. It was a what an effort he made. That is a magnificent block from Jabari Rice. Texas leading it by 13. Kansas trying to find a run. Look Wilson at a three. Got it. Look at the way they caught Dick. I've been watching Grady Dick. He doesn't get open. You know, he's not getting enough motion without the ball as well. He's got to move a little bit more without the ball. 
It's too stationary. It's always easy to guard a stationary player. Rice inside and puts it in. Just a little too quick. Yeah, very quick on that baseline. There's an edge to them today, Booth. They came here focused and ready to perform, and they've done that in front of a packed house. Tough ticket to get. See that right in his face. Don't allow him to shoot the ball. Good recovery defensively. Inside, McCullough puts it home. Nice pass right there. Trademark of basketball in the history of Kansas. Find the open man, get the quality shot. Got it down to 10 now. A lot of time on that clock. Knock down one or two threes, and you're right back in the game. It's been wire to wire, basically dominant so far by Texas. He wants to take Dick. He wants to take Dick. A nice rebound by Dick. Great size for a guy to play in the perimeter. McCuller trying to feed KJ Adams, knocked out of bounds. And it'll be Kansas basketball. Now the Longhorns doing it the defensive end. But here today, trying to get back in the wing column, and they lead it by 10. Right now, Texas would be a two seed. Baylor lost today. This is Joe Lenardi as of now, has Kansas as the one overall. They got a down to single digits now, down to eight. You know, Matt Tate, who covers Kansas, wrote that if they win today, Unquestionably, they deserve the number one overall seed. I go one step further, Matt. I think win or lose, they deserve it. Inside. And Dylan DeSue. Yeah, good two man play right there. DeSue from out of Vanderbilt, where Jerry Stackhouse has really brought respectability. He's done a great job. To me, the key for coaching, getting maximum out of your ability, and he's done that. Wilson puts it on the floor. Awkward shot, and a rebound pulled down by DeSue. Very, very kind here. Awkward. It was double awkward. Car kicks out to Sue. We'll try a three. You know, when Grady Dick and Wilson are being stymied, it's tough for the team to win. I mean, let's face it, because they're not playing against Cupcake City. Playing Texas on a road, you need your stars to play. I mean, this is a legitimate basketball team. Because they got 10 wins. They got 10 wins against quad one teams. Self has 15. He wanted 16. He's hungry. Well, down 10 with 10 12 to go. It'll take a pretty hearty comeback as Adams got shoved from behind. Well, here are the final Saturday of the regular season at College Hoops. Up next, Duke and North Carolina, the Dean Smith Center, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific. It's Arizona and number four UCLA. Both games right here on ESPN. Dan Shulman, Jay Billis, Holly Rowe will have the call, the Duke Carolina game. That big three is going to be ready to really roll down air because this is a pressure game for North Carolina. And, you know, and Duke will say pressure for us. We want to sweep them. But I'll tell you, it's a big game if Carolina wants to be dancing the mark. We got a couple more great ones this year. Guys like Paul Pierce, Grace LaFrentz. You know, the past and then this season with Jalen Wilson a chance to be Big 12 player of the year. Hey, what about with the Stoke? I've always felt that he's been really taken for granted. It was such a dominant force in the NBA. Just ask Kareem, just ask Bill Russell. He had a play against him. He was unbelievable. His stats. One day he grabbed me. We're in a slam fest. This is incredible. We're doing a slam fest. John Saunders, myself, and Phoenician and Phoenix were at lobby the hotel and he comes up and basically he says hey I want to talk to you well whichever wants to talk to you talk to him. so I'm standing there and he basically says hey I heard you talking about the greatest centers of all time Green, Russell are you serious check the record books what I've done to those two guys and Kareem's listening on him he said what I've done to those two guys I'm dominating him come on Dick Come on, Dick, I still love you, man. You got to give me respect. Well, I give him respect. He's one of the greatest ever, ever to play the game. There's no doubt about it. Bishop inside. That's a little too easy. So he's been strong here today. He could block shots, good low post move. Bad. Honey, Terry, that coaching staff. 
Bob Donnerwall coming in, a really active on that pitch. McCullough, oh, Vincent Vettel. They don't want to be denied here tonight. They don't want to be denied. Uh, Bishop is really so effective. But look, look, he wants the ball. Get me the run. And then he knows how to finish it off. There he is, goes down the lane. Nice little step. Good foot movement. Yes, sir. Uh, good footwork. Good execution. Talk about a veteran team. I haven't seen a team all year that done a game with any more experience than what Texas has. That last foul on McCuller. And that's his fourth. Crowd has been loud here today. A little over 11,000. Another sellout. And they get the foul on Harris. I had a blast in the crowd with that. Put my cowboy hat on. I had a lot of fun. I really so active. I love meeting with all the young kids. Look at the right there. Oh, man. Come on, look. This is Baba. Look at me. Look at that one. I want that hat. I want that hat. Cover my ball, though. <laughs> I, I got my VB. See this? My Vital Ball Dome Index VBDI. There it is. Mr. Lenardi, I know you're an expert. I know you're an expert. But my VBDI says win or lose. Kansas should be the number one, the number one overall seed. I really believe that. Right. What they've done in that conference, try playing in that league, man. Houston's been great. I love Kelvin Sampson. He's one of the elite coaches in America. South Sur and company are terrific. But come on, schedule of strength is no comparison. By the way, they're coming into the Big 12, Houston. About time, you get a look. He made it count. He got a look. They're going to get him some shots. That'll change that game quickly. His first field goal in the last two games as he knocks down a three, and the deficit is seven. Boy, that three has really revolutionized the game so many times. Get a couple threes going. Gives you Uncle Mo on your side. They're going to get a stop here. They want to get, they're going to get a defensive stop. Oh, what a fake. Uh, oh, inside the oh, three point. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, did he leave something on the floor? He left something on the floor. It wasn't mine. It wasn't yours. It was a Jayhawk defender with a little ball fake. You kids use that ball fake. That was a big basket. Move the big basket. Tipped out Adams. And Texas comes around. Two on one. Two on one. Hunter. And it'll be two for Tyrese Hunter as he takes the contact. What well, season thing, Marquette he, has had this year. They've been sensational. And Rodney Terry's done a great job taking over for Chris Beard. Tell you one thing, Shaka is my national coach of the year. And I've, there's a few other guys that have been selected who have done great jobs as well. I mean, there is no question, but Shaka, Shaka really so special. Really, my player of the year, Zach Eady, and he's been terrific for the entire year. Shaka, my diaper dandy, Brandon Miller, even though there's been a lot of controversy with Miller over the uh, unbelievable, senseless murder of a beautiful young lady, Jamea Harris, and there was rumors alleged. He was alleged, nobody's saying guilty. Alleged he possibly been involved in the gun that was used in that murder. People know my feeling of that. I thought he should have been able to. Alabama should have sat him for a couple of games at least as a suspension. Oh, Brady wow. Dick Berry's one. Hey, big three again by Dickey. Big three. The lead is eight for Texas, seven and a half to go. The largest lead of the game was 15. Hunter. See, now they got to make it. got to stop. They've been not able to get it to six. I think it's like seven has been closest they've got. Right now, right now, man, if you can find Dickey and get some threes. My God. Wilson. Wait, Dick, I call him Dickey. He's a... You Dick, they call you Dick. I said you made my name. Grady Dick has been certainly terrific all year. 14.5 a game. 
He said he's one of the three most influential diaper dandies this year. Inside Fisher. Tell you, Fisher has been such a major factor in this game. Oh, the crowd now gets alive again. They line back to double digits. Every time it looks like Kansas make their real run, they come up with a big play. McCullough from the elbow, short. Hunter able to draw the contact here. A sellout crowd at the Moody Center, over 11,000 for concerts. It seats as many as 15,000. And the boss was here in the middle of February, February 16th. Bruce Springsteen played here. He's pretty good, man. He's, yeah. Oh, I bet he played born in the USA. I'll tell you one thing, if they get George Strait to play here, they would have, they'd have to get the football stadium. Football stadium for George Strait. All 17 home games sold out here, and the students move down right on top of the court. I think it's great. I love environments like this. This is almost like a duplicate of what they got to do for years. And right on top, the kids really become such an important factor. Six man. We get the six man's really been enforced here today by the Longhorn fans. And it's always enforced when you go to Rock Chalk Jayhawk Land. Those fans are fantastic. Look at the way they're getting up on Brady Dick right now again. Yeah, really trying to find him. Good hands on the defensive end. Center the ball, hit the wing, find the open man. Out of bounds, Kansas basketball. Farmer's been really quiet in this game. Marcus Carr in this one with six points, two of nine. Yeah, he's been quiet. He's really been quiet. It just amazed me that game that they lost Texas. Well, this would be for the Big 12 title against TCU. They shut down one of the best guards in the conference. Miles 0 for 8. Forced 22 turnovers and they lose. How does it happen, Blue? I don't have an answer for you. Yesifu to Grady Dick contested. In and out, Bishop rebound. Well, at least they get some shots for Grady. By the way, I'm told George Strait opened this building. Oh, he did. See, it's a pretty good taste there. That's a great guy to go. open, man. One of my favorite guys is Kenny Chesney. Get him in the football stadium. Oh, nice coming out the ball. Inside, and that rolls out. All right, a reminder, the early rounds of the Phillips 66 Big 12 Championship can be seen at Big 12 now on ESPN Plus. It all starts Wednesday at the T-Mobile Center in Kansas City. And if you'd like to attend the event, tickets on sale at Big12Sports.com slash buy tickets. Hey, Fran will be there along with you. Yep. Sonny, Chris, and myself, I'll be down there for that and looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. But the Big 12, Bill Self, his group will be the number one seed. Look at his face. Look at his face right now. You think about being quiet, silent. Just he's such a winner. And he's really kind of be a little frustrated. But, you know, he'll tip the hat to Texas. I mean, they absolutely came out here and took charge right at the beginning of the game. The lead back to 14. Rodney Terry urging his team on. And this been, crowd has been alive here today. It's been Rodney Terry's team right from the get-go. Jalen Wilson with a triple. He's got 19 and another double-double, by the way. 19 and 10 for Jalen Wilson. His 10th double-double of the season. And what a player all year he's been. Rice catch and shoot. There he is, because it's still offense, baby. He gets Vincent off, and boy, that coaching staff is really... <laughs> Rodney Terry's, you know, fighting for survival in a place he loves and wants to be. And he knows he can really, really make an incredible effort. But he has to do well in the postseason. Nice move. Wilson lays it in. He's got 21. Kansas is within 11. He's a multi-talented player. Right, a dribble. Got 
extra pass, baby. Making the extra pass. Oh, the Lord. Lord fans, man. The six man has really been here. They've arrived early. They haven't left. And it's going to be party time, big time, in Austin if this continues. And I see almost no reason why it's not going to continue. There's been nothing shown to me to be able to negate what they've done right from the get-go. Kansas just has not had an answer at the offensive end. Can't go in any spurt. Yeah. Any spurt. The defense not forcing little layups and transition basketball. Oh, 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 it's a long day when that happens. Fall away, Kansas. Loving this and oh we can't believe it. Why couldn't we beat TCU and have this for the Big 12 sharing the title with Kansas? Wow. Adams books a jumper. Adams gets that good look. Hey, do you think that red ash will be at dinner in yesterday? It'll be packed tonight. That red ash will be rocking and rolling. Oh it's wide it. open. Oh, oh. He had an easy layup. He had an easy layup. He's trying to get a little fancy. Oh, he'd like to have that one back. Oh. Bishop wide. And I was kind of surprised. They gave me a two-minute stand elevation and talked about my background and showed a video. And it really uh, was very special. I couldn't thank the Kansas enough for that. And Bill Self and all their people. People, if you really want to help me, just go to v.org slash super 16 and join the raffle and be one of the people that are eligible to win a basketball bash at my house at my house if you my guest come in with my wife have dinner we watch the sweet 16 together and you also get all expenses paid flights hotels for two people so really it's v.org slash super 16 and spell out super 16. Rice putting it on the floor. Is that ball fake? Kicks back out Hunter. Shot clock under 10. Hunter with Harris on him. Hunter inside. Mr. Dosil, what is that? Man, man, he bounced off the floor. That was an incredible offensive play. Well, he comes to right. Nobody checks him out. You got to put a body on him. Look at this. Nobody puts a body. You get him on. Put those guns on him. Come on, boom. Put those guns. You must be living in the way. You've got to be living in the way. <laughs> Maybe you should get me in there so I can pump my guns up. How about that throw down from Dylan DeSue? Wow. Former Vanderbilt player. All nine points. He comes from the help the side. second half. Nobody blocks him out at all. Just a straight, direct line to the goal. Two things in basketball is the base. It's been not this year, almost the last 10 years. Blocking people out, number one. And number two, moving without the ball. Everybody is bounce, bounce, bounce. Let me get that ball screen. Let me dribble off it. Let me make the bounce, bounce, bounce. Just unreal. Well, Texas sends a message loud and clear that they're legitimate number two seed. I mean, Dr. Lenardi, I wonder what he does to Kansas. And I hope he's smart enough to understand what he is. He's a guru at what he does. He's the best of the best. Just look at the fact they play the toughest schedule in America. Toughest. And they got the most quad wins, not even close with people, with 15. And they won the regular season of the best conference maybe in 20 years. So I hope he remembers that. Come on, Dr. Lenardi. Come on, Daniel. I love Jabari you, Charlie. Rice has 23. 14 of them since the break. He's been a, I think he's the best six man of basketball. When you look at his body of work the entire year, he was terrific when he played at Mexico State. Yes, if we were off the mark. All right, back to Kansas for one second. They have to win the Big 12 tournament, right? Well, I think at least to me, if they go at least maybe win two games. One. I, I, I don't think so. I really don't. I think their body of work, what they've done in a regular season, to me, equates to being the regular season. We got to pick Alabama. We got to pick Houston. I love Houston. But Houston has a schedule that's 102 ranked versus theirs. All Texas here in Austin. 
75-58, our score right here. That'll be their 11th uh, yeah, they have 10 coming in this game. Texas. Rodney Terry, what do you want from the guy? What a job he's done coming in a tough situation. His beard gets fired over the domestic violence situation, which, by the way, the charges were all prompt. However, there's no doubt that some physical and join Bishop, the fellow senior on the bench. Nothing like home sweet home. Had lost their two games prior to this. No, it's not bad losses, but they lost the, are you kidding me? Losing to Baylor and TCU? I tell you this, I hope and pray if something doesn't work out that they go for the magical big name because they want to spend so much money and get a winner here that somebody out there, one of those Power Five conferences, recognizes that this Rodney Terry is a Division One coach. He really has. In 10 years, he's coached as a head coach. He's not just the guy who was an assistant. Kick up ahead, MJ Rice. And they get the foul on Texas as that will go against Gavin Perriman. Make sure people stay for that Carolina Duke game. Carolina, they are trying to get into the big dance, and everybody seems, including Mr. Lenardi, a win today over Duke is must, is mandatory. I believe they have only one quad one win. They really, uh, my research tells me, I uh, think mentally, sometimes you forget it when you get a little older. Zuby Edgefor having some shoe issues. Somebody back heeled him, knocked a shoe off. So Edgefor at the line of Texas native, Kansas. Team you. with a, some Texas flavor. Speaking of Texas, how about our player of the game, Jabari Rice? Our player of the game brought to you by Phillips 66. Jabari Rice with 23. Great tribute today. Chris talked about it. But I'm going to tell you this. Why is it important to be number one overall? Bill Self is the trouble before the game. One, they pick the site they want to play at, which will be the line. And then they pick the region they want to play at, which will be Kansas City. So that is very, very important today. Huge win.